Happy First Impression Friday, everyone. Today we are gonna be taking a look at Made It Patterns. Look at this beautiful, clean, organized website. Love it so much. I also want to point you guys to the About Us. They have a lot of information here. You should definitely go and read it. But basically, the story is they started out with children's wear exclusively, and then in 2016, they expanded the pattern range to include teens and women's wear. They say that they create beautiful, desirable, easy-to-fit patterns with timeless silhouettes and unique cuts that inspire and excite. So let's see how inspired and excited we get after looking at their women's wear patterns. Also, obviously, if you're uh, sewing for children or teens, um, be sure to go check out those tabs as well, but we're only going to cover the women's wear here. The first pattern is a go shorties and cami. So it's like a little underwear and camisole set. <laughs> they did say in that little bio thing too that they have like a little bit of humor to their instructions and I think that we can see that here too it just in this little description but no buts about it when it comes to underwear comfort is key swap your cheeky wedgie inducing knickers for a pair of practical old school full bum coverage grandma approved pants. Um, and then pair them with the classic camisole the everyday year round versatile essential Wear it on its own in the warm weather or as a layer beneath your hug hoodie during the colder months. Um, they come packed with features, so many that we had to divide the pattern into two views. View A, shorties, sit at the top hip. They feature fold-over elastic for the leg and waist finishing. They have two gusset options, one that fully encloses the gusset seams on the inside and one where no seam is visible from the front. Okay. View A cami features fold over elastic for the straps and neck binding and the option of adjustable straps. Most suitable for underwear and sleepwear. Oh, view B shorties. Okay, so there's two underwears and two camis. Okay, sit at the top hip, feature color blocking leg bands and an enclosed elastic waistband or a wide exposed elastic waistband option. Here's the line drawing. Is that helpful? Oh, wait, it's going to open up. Oh, look at that. Okay. 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 We're going to get to that in a second. Um, view B cami features color blocking and the neckline and straps are finished using self fabric. It has the option to add a built-in bra and the option for adjustable straps. Most suitable for loungewear, swimwear, like a what are those bathing suits called that are like tops? Uh, Beachwear, sportswear, underwear, sleepwear. And then they recommend viscose or cotton jersey. Viscose is rayon um, with at least 5% elastane, stretch lace, and mesh. Mesh is probably going to be for that shelf lining maybe. Consider how your fabric is going to feel against your skin. For the gusset of the shorties, we recommend 100% cotton for comfort and ventilation. Okay, now let's take a look at these little pictures. So they don't identify which is which, uh, which view is which. I'm assuming this is the A view because it's not color blocked and there's no seaming there. Um, but yeah, really cute. Um, and yeah, and this does look like a swimsuit, doesn't it? Um, almost like surfer, like what a surfer might wear, well, at least on the bottom. Um, and look at how well that is sewn. I am so impressed. Those are the oh, adjustable straps. And then the back side of the shorties. Cute little top. Yeah, that's really sweet. There's the back of view A. And this one has the fold over elastic. Simple, straightforward. Can I make this go down? I don't think so. Oh, Lord. Um, where was she? Here? Yeah, maybe that's it. No. Why won't my screen go down? Try again. Maybe if I accept. Okay, there we go. Um, Cass is wearing View B shorties in size 10 and the cami in size 8. Yeah, I like the uh, leg line of the shorties a lot. I just wonder how hard it is to sew those straps, though. I mean... What do y'all think? I guess if it's in like a stable jersey, you'd be okay. And then here's our line drawings again. 
Cute. I like the illustration. That If that's any indication of what the um, instructions are like, this very clean, very easy to read, very easy to understand. All right, here's the size chart. And it looks like the bust is uh, 6 to 20. So the bust is 31 to 44. And the hip is 34 to 47. So not quite not even really close to the, um, you know, extended size range. I think that the full, um, the plus size gals are looking for a hip of like uh, up to 58 inches. So they're a little short there. I am on the high end of their range, um, in the, in the shorts, in the hip. So if that's any indication, then we have, View A, size 6, graded to 10. Yeah, I mean, if you're grading from a 6 to a 10, I don't know. And her body seems, well, I, she's actually quite hippy now that I'm seeing it. So that makes sense. I just, I don't know how the grade rules really work, but. Oh, that's the little shelf bra on the inside. You can put the cups in there. You can sew your cups in there. That fabric's really cute. All right, back to the beginning. All right, so I know you guys are going to have some comments about the size chart, and I understand that. I do, but it is what it is. All right, now we've got the hug hoodie. Staying in is the new going out. But just because you're relaxing on the sofa watching Netflix and snacking on a family size bag of Maltes Maltesers? Okay, Brits, what, what is that? What are Maltesers? Maltesers. Is it like malt balls? Um, doesn't mean you can't do it in style. The hug hoodie, part of our loungewear collection, is comfy, casual, relaxed fit sweatshirt with raglan sleeves, optional hood, cool overlap detail, and a curved hem at the back. I do like the overlap detail. Um, perfect hang around the house sweatshirt with a chilled out vibe, especially with our slow pants. It also comes in kids and teens. Welcome to the cozy life. French terry, ponty, sweatshirt fleece, micro fleece, and velour. You, uh, the fabric should have 20% stretch and should snap back to its original size after stretching, meaning like great recovery. Okay, so here are the photos. I like the crossover in the front because it gives the idea of like the French tuck. It gives the proportions of a French tuck without actually having to tuck it in. But I do want to call attention to the sleeve. Um, this is either really long or like, is there some design detail there? And then it is a raglan sleeve with a hood, like they said. That's it with the hood on. She's also got a t-shirt on underneath. So it's a little bit misleading what this hemline looks like. I wish they wouldn't have done that. But And then we'll look at those pants here shortly. Here's the back. I think that's a nice length. Um, and I do like the little scoop back as well. Yeah, she's cute. Yeah, that is a really long sleeve though. So be sure to check that out. And it's also very loose fitting. So if you're on the upper end of the size chart like me, you know, this is a very forgiving pattern in the fit area. So um, even if you would technically be a little bit outside their size range, I think you could make it work. I mean, look when she does her arms out like that across the shoulder, there's a lot of room and that little crossover in the front, you know, gives you a little, a little bit of wiggle room too. Equally as sweet with the neck band. Um, although I feel like I've seen this before, uh, doesn't like a tulip top, doesn't blank slate have a tulip top or something like that. All right, our size chart again is a 31 inch bust to 44 inch bust. And those are the only measurements they're giving you. Drafted for someone who's 5'6 from size 10 to 20. So this must technically be the women's wear and then maybe this is the teens because it, it jumps down to 5'4 and a half there. I don't know how that works um, grading wise. And then if you make the hood, it's like up to two yards, same fabric without the hood. So, I mean, I don't know, it's for me, I would just make the hood, but some people don't like hoods. So, 
And then you have your neckband and cuffs made out of coordinating ribbing. And then a jersey hood lining, which I appreciate that. I do appreciate that the hood is not self-lined because you see that sometimes and it's just so thick. Okay. There it is in a gray version. Oh, lots of versions. She looks so familiar. Who? How do I know Laura? Is that the Specky Seamstress on YouTube? Is that how I know her? How do I know her? Um, but you can see really well how it's constructed here, how this band is sewn on. And then it wraps around and comes back up again. Okay, back to the beginning. Yep. Great. Cute. And then here's the teen and here's the kids. If you want to check those out. Now we have the slow pants. Slow pants are for lazy days when you get home from work and want to wind down for when you want to curl up on the sofa and watch TV or when you want to relax and be comfy. So whether you're staying in or nipping to the shops, slow pants are your trusted downtime uniform. Simple, timeless, wide leg style with pockets, optional side stripes and a smooth waistband. Coordinate with their upcoming rest vest or hug hoodie. Oh, they just haven't updated it. Okay. And perfect year round lounging. Welcome to the cozy life. So Ponty, French Terry, stretch velvet, medium heavyweight cotton jersey knit. You should, and the 20% uh, stretch and good recovery. Okay. Also available in teen sizes. So I wonder what kind of fabric this is. But it does look like it sits, like her natural waist is probably way up here. Maybe her belly button is somewhere around here. And this is, you know, sitting just above the high hip, really. Um, then again, it does look a little long in the crotch. So maybe, maybe it could sit a little higher. We'll look at some other samples other than hers. But the leg line is really beautiful. This is really nice. She, you know, she doesn't have a wedgie. You know, she, it's not super baggy. I like that. And then the width fits nicely around the shoe, which is really pretty. Not too short, not too long. I, do, I like the side stripe. It's a little bit extra sporty, but cute nonetheless. There it is with the little tank top. This really is starting to look like a little capsule wardrobe, am I right? So pockets are built into this little side seam. And then you can either do the side seam or this optional panel, side panel in the same color or a contrasting color. I don't think that there's a separate view that moves this to the actual side seam. So they're all designed that way. So it's almost like meant to have that stripe. I don't know if I would, I, you could easily take it out, I guess, and just do a regular side seam, but all right, so now we've got a waist measurement. We haven't, have we seen a waist measurement yet? I don't think so. Um, 24 and a half inches up to 38 inches. Uh, the hip on this one, however, goes up to 48. Did that, was that the last one? My short-term memory is not very good. So I think I would be like a 16, 18, 20 situation. Bust, waist, hip. Um, for reference. And then... Your contrasting stripe, good gracious, with stripe, without stripe. So you can take the stripe out. Okay. Well, that would that should be a separate illustration, don't you guys think? Um, and then, okay. So one and a quarter yard with or without the stripe up to, oh, well, this one, well, that's bizarre. Well, I guess, yeah, when you get to the bigger sizes, you have to re you have to move the pattern pieces around. So, yeah, it takes almost a half, an hour, a half a yard additional to do it without the stripe, which is a little, you know, counterintuitive. But, and then here's your elastic that you need. One and a half inch wide elastic, though. I do like that. Um, but they're not going to show us any pictures of just the waistband, huh? Well... What can you do? All right. That's it. Okay. 
I, there's also not any other uh, models. So I don't know about this rise and if they just made the waistband a little bit too big and so it fell down a little bit as she was kind of moving around or, you know, I'm not entirely sure. This also makes me think that maybe they have fallen a little or at least they didn't fit in the waist and so they just smooshed them, they scooted them on down until they got a comfortable fit around her hip. But then that made this a little bit long and then also this. You know what I mean? So just some things to consider whenever you go to make yours. All right, this is called the Guild Jacket. Hang up your puffa coat, spring has arrived. Time to prepare for the unpredictable bouts of sun, rain, wind, and everything in between. Enter Glide. Did I say Guild? Enter Glide, the jacket that merges the classic with the contemporary to create a sleek statement piece. Detailed with striking cutouts at the hem and hidden po zip pockets in the front diagonal seams. Glide is a relaxed fit designed to sit comfortably over clothes, smart enough to wear with tailored trousers and perfect for snazzing up jeans and t-shirt. Sporty vibe and wear it with your workout gear. Try a bold color block. Front zip closure, flat collar or hood, drop shoulders, interior pocket, optional elasticated cuffs, and lining, of course. So, fabrics. Medium weight fabric works well. Cotton, canvas, twill, linen, corduroy, wool, denim, pretty much anything would look fabulous. So, they're looking for, like, lightweight jacketing type of fabrics. Avoid fabrics that are particularly thick or your seams may end up too bulky. Hard shell looks amazing for a sporty glide jacket. And hard shell is, isn't it made out of nylon or something? Um, fabrics with stretch like scuba or quilted knit are doable, but may be a tad more tricky to sew. And then here's your, then they recommend cotton or polyester cotton blend for the lining. All right, let's check her out. This one does seem quite interesting. These are the little cutouts that they mention in the hem. Um, there's no hem band, which I actually really like, and I do really like the elasticated cuff on a, like, sportier jacket. So this one has the collar stand, zip front, as they said, with no, nothing covering it. You know, it's just an exposed zipper. There it is with the hood. So the hood actually has a band to it. That's a nice detail. But no drawstring, so if the wind comes... I think that hood's fallen off. <laughs> I don't, it, it does look like a pretty decent hood head coverage, though. You know how sometimes you have a hood and it's just like so, I don't know, would it be narrow? And it just doesn't fully come over your head. But I don't know. There's still a chance that one would blow off, which is just so annoying. Okay, and you can see these side or these um, angled seams and how they inserted the zipper, basically the same way you would do a side seam pocket. Really, really cool. And here it is all zipped up. Also looks super cool with the hood zipped up. Again, really long sleeves. I guess it's better that they're too long than not long enough. Yeah, there's a good picture of the hood construction. There's a drop shoulder. It's like a dolman drop shoulder. Oh, there it is without the hood. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's a little bit more, um, like a little less sporty for sure. I wonder if they did any of them in the in the um, contrast. That one also has like a metal zipper. Um, let's see if we can see it really good in one of the pictures. Yeah, you can kind of see it there, like a metal silver zipper, which is a nice, like, it makes it more polished and more, you know, like, not workout clothes. <laughs> and then here's another one without the hood. Yeah, if you use, like, a really stiff fabric, you're going to get some interesting drag lines or not even drag lines but just like bulk lines oh here's a guy's version i wonder if it's unisex maybe one pattern for guys and girls 
It is a really cool design. Super, super cool. Here's a yellow one. Oh, here's the pockets. I wish we could zoom in on those, but we can't. Okay, flat collar with no cuff and hood with an elastic cuff. I actually like both of them. Here's your size chart. Again, 5'5 five, five to 5'6 five, in height. Your chest measurement, 31 to 44, and your hip, 34 to 47. So, I don't think these are finished measurements, do you? I don't know why the hip measurement is changing from pattern to pattern. And then here's your fabric requirements, without the hood and then with the hood. Oh, and then all the supplies. Okay, great. Some interfacing, elastic, invisible zipper, and then what is this? Oh, more zippers. Oh, these are for the pockets. Okay. Gotcha. It's cool. It's definitely something different. I have never seen a jacket quite like that. Um, I do think that that, what do they call it? The outer shell fabric or whatever it is would be really awesome. All right, now we have something called the Stripe Tee for Adults. Undeniably sleek version of the humble t-shirt with capped sleeves and a flattering semi-loose fit that sits at ease on your body. Ideal for every day. It's a t-shirt that promises to go with everything. Unexpected center back strip has, adds distinction and gives this feminine t-shirt its saucy name. Also available in German. Uh, medium weight rayon or rayon spandex for a beautiful soft drape. In cooler weather, use French terry or a true knit and layer over a long sleeve fitted top. Quick and easy, we suggest you make at least two so you have one to wear while the other's in the wash. And they also have it available in um, teen sizes. So this is just a pretty basic grown on sleeve um, with a neck band. And then they just added that stripe in the back. It's an easy enough hack if you have a t-shirt pattern that you already like. Um, yeah, nothing really special to write home about the design, but I guess adding that stripe in the back um, is, uh, what am I trying to say? At least they were thinking, well, this may be a simple design, but we're going to make it fun and interesting. Okay. Okay. So 31 to 44 and then 34 to 47. Same starch size chart as the last one. The good news is it only takes one and a half yards of fashion knit fabric. So or up to one and a half yards. So that's really good. But see what I mean? It's nothing extraordinary design wise. Certainly it would be super easy to fit. So if you're concerned about fit, this is a great option, um, but yeah, if you have a t-shirt pattern you love, you could just add that stripe to it, no problem. Okay, so that's the stripe tee. Now we have the groove dress. This is for teens. Wait, what? Free when you purchase the kids or adult groove dress. So the groove dress is an utterly covetable swing dress. Well, can we not? Yeah, let's look at the adult one. Here we go. Okay. The groove dress is utterly comfortable swing dress made using knit fabric with short or long sleeves and a high, low, or straight hemline. And if that wasn't enough, we went crazy to offer you five, yes, five different neck options. Round, scoop, slash, cowl, or hooded, whatever takes your fancy. The combinations are endless. Well, nearly. You do the math. <laughs> uh, comfortable and practical timeless basic that even looks good over a baby bump it's quick and easy to sew which means you'll be using this pattern over and over again come on machines at the ready it's time to get your groove on two size ranges 8 to 18 and then also 20 to 28 so this does have some extended sizes I'm excited to see like what they actually go up to all right so let's see what we've got here well, it's really hard to see in black and white and with her hair covering everything that's important. Oh, 
Oh man, I'm really not a fan of these photos. I can't really see anything with all this hair. Gorgeous hair, but like what's, maybe I should go to a line drawing first. And then we can look at the photos. Okay, so we have a swing dress, like they said, with a set in sleeve. And then you've got your, you know, usual um, sleeve length options. Uh, and then all these different neck bands that they were talking about. So round neck, cowl neck, slash neck, which is also known as a boat neck or bateau, right? Scoop neck, and then also with a hood. Then there's a high-low hem, a straight hem. Yeah, lots of options for this dress. Um, so, fabrics that are... Okay, that makes sense. Um, okay, so the size chart, the chest is all we're going to get for the size here, but it goes from 32 and a quarter up to 55 in the bust. So that's really good. That's great. Very inclusive on this. Um, and then fabric. Okay, and then you just have the fabric requirements. Great. Yeah, and that swing hem, it, you can't do it in a fabric that's narrower than, um, uh, what would that be, 60 inches, I guess, 55 maybe. Okay, now that we've seen that, we can get a look for the fit. I think this is the slash neckline. It's a little bit higher up than maybe a boat or a bateau would be. Um, it's actually quite chic. I really like it. And that's it with a short sleeve and then the straight hem. And you can see the neck binding there too. Sorry, I'm just flipping through these pictures and trying to get a, the fit is really great. I do like the swing. Um, it's kind of like Knit's version of a fit and flare, which is really kind of cute. Again, with the long sleeve, <laughs> um, I would just check their sleeve links on all the patterns that I was going to make. Um, but the high-low hem is really sweet, especially with those little booties. This is the problem. This is like the, this is the good and bad of rayon jersey, right? So it is, it shows everything. It shows all your lumps and bumps and everything else. But look at this stunning drape in the front. So it's like, you know, you take the good with the bad kind of thing. Um, that's what rayon jersey does, which is why I'm not that big of a fan. Um, here's another version. That's the scoop neckline. Really pretty. See, much better in a cotton jersey, right? It's just, it's not just more flattering. It's, it's more, I don't know. I don't know what the word is. It just looks better, okay? <laughs> oh, that was a puppy. An unhappy puppy. <laughs> Sorry if that scared you guys. Um, okay, and then we saw all this already. Great. So the groove dress, okie dokie. Oh, there it is for adults. Okay, and then here's the rest vest. They had said in a previous post it was coming soon, but here it is. Extremely versatile rest vest is a gorgeous, cleverly constructed, easy to wear garment with angled seam lines that lends itself to color blocking. The unique back detail flatters the shoulders and creates statement silhouette. Unlike the rest vest for teens, it flows at the hips. So I guess the teen version's just closer fitting. It can be worn as easily for casual everyday comfort with our wide leg slow pants or it can as it can for sweaty workouts, night with friends, the beach, or for bed with our soon to be released go shorties, which have already come out. So they just need to go update these little descriptions. Um, light to medium weight jersey, something with a bit of drape works well, like rayon um, or a technical sportswear jersey. Or I guess in the States, we might call it athletic jersey. What, what do they call it? Athletic mesh, maybe? Um, a poly cotton or 100% cotton single knit jersey will be fine as long as it's lighter weight, so that's a bit of drape. You should be able to stretch the fabric 20% and just snap back. So, yeah, I mean, any kind of like t-shirt cotton weight, t-shirt weight cotton I think would be good. But I do adore this little situation in the back that is really really cute and then the back 
kind of wraps around to the front. Very, very cute. Look how good that looks. Perfect for color blocking, just like they said. Here are some other versions. This might be the sportswear type of fabric. A little yoga top. This is what it is in all one color. Also equally as cute, to be honest. You could also do like, maybe do it all in one color, but then do some flat piping in here or something. I don't know. It also looks like this is finished first and then top stitched on to this piece. So you could also do the binding in a contrast color. That would make these seams stand out really well, but just know that it, the binding would be all of this. It would be this part as well as the neckline, you know, wrap around to the front. It would be all of this and all of this too. I guess you didn't have to do the neckline, but um, it would be all the arm side. And then this one, that neck that band looks a little bit different. Still really cool though. And this goes into this size 20 size range with the narrower hip. And then fabric usage, width, length, width, length. What? I don't know what all this means. I'm so confused. Oh, for the front? They sep, oh, because it's a color blocked. I was like, wait, what is happening? Okay, I got it now. Cute, right? I like it. I like it a lot. Fun. I think that they quite, they do deliver on their little promise of um, giving us patterns with a little something something. This one is the drop dress, drop dress and top. Stop, drop and roll is what I think of. Um, this is, it's a drape dress and top. We call it drop. Oh, I get it. Okay. With long sleeve slash neck and asymmetrical draping, it's the perfect transitional piece to take you through the cooler season. Wear it on its own with leggings or hitched up over jeans. Minimum effort, maximum impact, the ultimate in effortless dressing. Two adjustable lengths. This garment will flatter all shapes and sizes, ensuring casual sophistication in your everyday look. It's an addictive sewing experience, quick and easy and enjoyable. Once you drop, you won't stop. Oh my gosh. Okay. Alphanumeric sizing on this one too. So we'll check that out. So yeah, it has the little drape to one side. Super cute. It has a drop shoulder sleeve again. Um, pretty long sleeves again, but I think we've well established that by now. Um, I want to see it from the side and see kind of what happens. Oh, that's cute in a stripe. It does look really cute over leggings. Oh, here we go. So was that was she wearing the dress or the top? Oh, I don't know. And this is that uh, bateau neckline again. Um, a size chart. Extra small. So 30 and a half to 42. And then the hips only go 34 to 45. Hmm. Okay. Again, I don't know what the finished garment measurements are, so it's hard to establish like how much ease. But if I'm looking at this, I'm thinking this is the hip line here. And, you know, there's a lot of extra room-ish. So maybe it could still work if you're outside that size range. But that is it on the photos. Well, that's a bummer. You think this is the dress or the top? They look the same to me. Oh, uh, well, I don't know. Maybe that is longer. You think that's the dress? I don't know. I can't tell. I can't tell. Um, anyways, I also been meaning to point out the pricing on these is pretty good. Nine pounds. That's not bad. I don't know what that converts to to U.S. dollars, but wouldn't it be less in U.S. dollars? Um, and then we'll quickly go over this little sling bag. Um, 
Oh, I see. It's like an over the shoulder um, messenger bag. Wow, that is really intense. <laughs> that is a very big panel, but it comes in three sizes. Yeah, I don't know if I'm a fan of this situation. Yeah, it looks a little bit like a um, like a Girl Scout sash. <laughs> well, that's cute. Yeah, maybe in the kids' proportions it's okay, but for the adults, I don't know. Anyways. All right. Well, that is Made It Patterns, their women's um, collection. Super cute. Love the, like, what do they call it? Comfort collection. Um, really great little collection of fat of patterns. That's for sure. Uh, go check out their other patterns for kids and teens. Although, other than a couple of them, a couple of these t-shirts, they pretty much well converted all of them to the women's. Um, well, that's not true. As we scroll down, we're starting to see more and more that were not converted to women's. But either way, oh, they even have um, garment illustrations that are free. I wonder what that means. They also have labels. Yeah, and a bunch of cute little um, kids patterns. So be sure to go check out Made It Patterns. Go check out their women's wear collection. I'm quite intrigued by a few of them. So once my to-do list opens up a little bit, I'll come back and check these out. I certainly will add them to the list for um, Sew Together options because Sew Together has a price limit of $10 and a lot of these would fit into that. So, But that's going to do it for me today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye.